Well, welcome everybody to the Menlo Midweek Podcast. My name is Mark. My name is Jessica. And we, we have, have... Oh, no. We have so many guests today. We have the Holy Ghost. Yes. <laughs> uh, we are recapping Menlo 150. Yes. And so we're inviting on just a bunch of different friends to come and share their experience with us. But for now, uh, Jess, I want to know what was yeah. one of your highlights Ooh. from 150. Oh, there's so much. I just kept being surprised over and over again that nothing was going wrong. <laughs> like our teams are incredible, okay. but yeah. you know, we did it in a high school gym. We, we had to set up all the sound, all mm -hmm. the video, mm -hmm. all of this, uh, the stage they brought in, the chairs they had to, High, the high school they we hired people to put up the screens but all the audio and video was on us and yeah. of course huge shout out to ben white our like producer extraordinaire mm -hmm. i don't even know his name his name his title but um but i as a produce, producer i just kept waiting for like a video not to right. work or them not to start a song on time or whatever but it was just so seamless and yeah. smooth and so it was so fun um, just to be able to be there and hear, you know, almost 2000 people like singing these so songs wild. and like, I got to go, I was kind of backstage mostly, but I okay. was kind of on the sides of both. I went to both sides to just get different viewpoints and man, I took some videos of just like everybody singing and I was like, this is incredible. Oh, oh that was so good. Wow. Yeah. How fun. It was really fun. What about you? It was a whirlwind of a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, Definitely seeing people from online in person is yeah, always a highlight, totally. always, always a highlight. Uh, and just seeing and interacting with new people in the chat as well. Um, we've streamed cool. it both to YouTube and Menlo.online.church and so got to see both of those communities there. Um, but also just the amount of buzz and excitement that was in the air was so fun. Yeah. Um, and if you didn't watch on YouTube, uh, we had a little spinny um, yeah. spinny wheel in the lobby space where we were broadcasting out of. And so we got to meet a whole bunch of different people of all ages. Um, and it was just a really fun time of connecting with everyone from every campus. Yeah. That was another highlight for me was yeah. having worked at the Menlo or the Mountain View campus for yeah. I was eight, nine years that I was there right. getting to see, I've seen, you know, I've gone back a couple of times so we'll see pretty consistent people, mm -hmm. but there were a couple of people I had not seen in a very mm -hmm. long time. So it was mm -hmm. so fun just to be able to see yeah. all those people again and yes. just get to hang out with, with different people from all the campuses. That was definitely yeah. a highlight. And it was, it's, we were so like zoomed in on just the service part. Yes. That was only the first hour. I know. And then there was still like two and a half or three hours of fun after that yeah. as well. Yeah. And definitely some of my highlights from that was just hearing people, hearing people say, hey, um, I recognize you or I recognize Jess and just wanted to say like, we enjoy the podcast. Yes. Like that's such a sweet thing for us so because sweet. a lot of the times we just kind of put these out there yeah. and times we'll hear great feedback. Other times we won't hear much at all. Yeah. And so for us to, I don't know, actually meet people that are listening and yeah. um, just have conversations and mm -hmm. see how w the work that God is doing through this online ministry yeah. and the impact that it's having. It's like, man, that was really special it and really, really encouraging. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, um, one of the really cool things that I was kind of surprised by mm -hmm. was the history walk. Yes. I surprised just I wasn't sh I just didn't really know much about it. And right. I assumed it was going to be cool to like see all the things. But right. the way they like displayed things mm -hmm. and just like really laid out like not just the history of Menlo Church yep. building, yep. but also the different pastors that have been here through the ages and the um, different ministry partners we've partnered with, the different events that campuses have, um, different mission trips that we've gone right. on over all the years. Right. And just to see all of that stuff was like, wow, like it just helps put things in perspective again of like ministry is not yeah. just the Sunday morning like you said, it was just one hour, though yeah. that was for us the most work having right. to be there on Saturday also and set up yep. and everything. But really to get to take a next step and see all of the things that surround our Sunday services and how yeah. all of that that legacy. Right. And I love that history walk so much, too. I, I, I thought it was so nicely put together it with really all of the different yeah. scrapbooks mm -hmm. and newspaper articles and displays that were made yeah. it felt like a mix of like 
walking into my family's living room and like pulling down one of our family photos yeah. as well as like a job fair. Yes. <laughs> like it was a kind of yeah. a thing of both, which I loved. Well, I and there was, was so also fun. like a tr the trifold posters yeah. that you yeah, did yeah. for like middle school science fair, uh -huh. but they made them look so beautiful. Right. Like you didn't think it was made. And it was really schooler. honoring yeah. of past staff members and just it, it really kind of carried through that that legacy word yeah. that we keep on coming back to. Yeah. It was really present in that space. And current staff members. They had a whole mm -hmm. board of all the campus pastors yep. and who all our senior leadership is. Yep. And it was cool. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, we're going to just start bringing on some guests. So yeah. it's going to be a fun episode just full of snippets of yeah. hearing different people's stories. Yeah. Um, campus people, people you might have familiarity with and others that we're pretty sure you don't so yeah. <laughs> this will be really fun thanks so much for joining and again if you missed out on our menlo 150 celebration it is at menlo.online.church or sorry it's on youtube you can watch it there <laughs> yeah uh as well as there'll be snippets going out all week on our socials yeah. um so connect with us and we'd love to just hear your stories yes. as well and we won't be talking to phil today about his message so oh. if you have questions about his <laughs> message or if you just want to give um, some encouragement to him, text us at 650-600-0402. We'll chat about that next time he is yeah. on the podcast yeah. with us. And I'm sure we'll he get his perspective as well yeah. on uh, Menlo 150. Yeah, and we had, uh, we're had we in the middle of our In Your Lifetime series. Yep. So his message just fit right in there. And exactly. we've got two more weeks of that. And then yeah. it's Advent. Crazy. Already. All right. Let's bring on our first guest. All right. Hi, Allison. Hi. How you doing? Yay. Good. Uh, can you introduce yourself and yes. what you do here at Menlo? Yes. Should I look at the camera while I that do that? One. This one? Okay. Um, hey, everybody. My name is Allison. I am the worship leader at the Menlo Park campus for Menlo Church. Awesome. Yeah. And how long have you been on staff? I've been on staff for about a year, a little over a year. I was at Saratoga for six months, and yeah. then I trans transferred over to Menlo yeah. Park. So, that must yeah. have been fun for you to see Saratoga friends and Menlo Park friends. Yes, yeah. That was, like, one of the most special parts of the morning yeah. for me is just to see people, yeah. smiling faces that I know and love um, that I get, don't get to see as much anymore. So it was it was fun. Oh, well, I have to know. What was it like singing in front of 2,000 people? <laughs> it's like a concert almost. It was really fun. It, it's one of those um, worship leading moments where you just, like, I just kept scanning the room back and forth because yeah. it was just like, it was just, it looks like heaven. Like you're, you're yeah. just scanning and you get to see everybody worshiping in their own space and place in their head. Right. But I just literally the entire worship service, I was just scanning because there was so many special moments to see from the front and just yeah. to see everyone's responsive worship just in a gym too. Like, sure. um, not your average sanctuary, but mm -hmm. like we were still worshiping the Lord and it was just really cool to see. And one of my favorite moments, I think it was during goodness of God. And I was like kind of getting emotional trying to keep it together. Mm -hmm. And I was scanning and I looked all the way in the back and I saw Ben White in the tech booth with, with both his Aww. hands in the air. Yes. And then I was like, now I have to close my eyes Aww. or else I will not be able to sing the rest of this yeah. song. So it was really cool. Yeah. It was so sweet. I took a video of, I don't remember which one, one of the songs that you mm -hmm. led and just like, the when the worship leaders like go quiet mm -hmm. and the whole two thousand people too. are singing and I'm like, this is awesome. This is yeah. yeah. God moving it's in really this cool. place right now. Yeah, how amazing. Yeah, incredible. Does do you approach that any differently than I don't want to say a normal Sunday? Yeah, but this has to feel a little bit different. It it definitely does. I think a little bit. Like I think like you said, there's moments where you feel a little bit like more free to just back off the mic because you know mm. the people in the room like for the doxology i don't think any of us were on mic that whole time because yeah. we were like the people in this room will lead they will lead it like we don't need to lead it like yeah. this this group of people um there was just so much response that you don't need to lead as much um so yeah it is a little bit different but it's it's like a special different that yeah i it's it's a very freeing thing oh. um to lead that many people mm -hmm. who are so uh yeah, just excited about Jesus and want to worship and want to respond. So, yeah. And each week, um, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, there's a different worship leader who's kind of assigned to the plan for the Sunday of, that kind of picks the songs mm -hmm. to match. Mm -hmm. So how did you yeah. go about planning oh, yeah. this a service like this yeah. and picking those specific songs and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, this service was obviously a special one. We all kind of chimed in a little bit, but Junior and Josh kind of took the, the reins on most of it. But we thought, uh, what are songs that 
are songs that a like our church could sing with their eyes closed Mm -hmm. and b songs that are themed around just like God's faithfulness and his Mm. power and what he's done and what he's will do. Mm -hmm. Um, One of my favorite moments, which was, it was junior's idea was to go out of uh, house of the Lord into do it again. Mm -hmm. Like that transition was just really cool. And the lyrics of just of do it again are just are powerful. Like just the testimonies in the room, like personal testimonies of like people's faith walks that um, have been changed by their, by their, participation or their encountering with Menlo Church Mm -hmm. and then also the people not in the room even if you think about that just 150 years of those stories like the ways that people have seen God move in their life through the ministry of Menlo Church it was just cool to sing those lyrics yeah yeah that's awesome and what was it like singing with all the other worship leaders it's so we have too (laughs) much fun when we're in the same it will look like a lot of fun too much fun yeah we it yeah it is that's like one of my favorite things yeah. is every once in a while when we get to do that, we yeah. get to uh, gather as a worship team because we just, we get along really well and they're all really talented. And we had some really talented volunteers on mm-hmm. stage from some right. of the campuses too. So the band was just rocking and it was fun. I've loved having Allison on the team because she is also an organized person. <laughs> so oh, yeah. if I'm not there, she's the one helping rein in the worship <laughs> leaders. We keep it, she we has keep fun it going. with them as well. So do I. But sure. it's like someone's got to keep us moving. And yep. Allison is that yes. person. So I'm very yep. thankful for you. Uh, and then not only did you sing in front of 2,000 people <laughs> on a stage, but you also worshiped through the ages in the yes, we did. courtyard. What would we call that space? Yeah, the, little, the quad. The quad. Yeah, the quad. Yes. yes. Yeah, that, that seemed fun, fun too. Yeah, that was fun. We, Except for the temperature. We kinda, yeah, it was really roasty and we were all in black, which was just like a bad choice on all our parts. But <laughs> it was fun. We just kind of, we kind of just winged it and went through some songs that we've sung for a really long time. So it was yeah. fun to see uh, people, a couple people in the crowd being like, oh, this one, like, this one's my favorite. I'm pretty sure at one point I saw hand motions. <laughs> yes, there were a couple oh hand motions. What were the hand motions for? Uh, it was from Lord I Lift Your Name on High, the You Came From heaven to us to show the way from the yeah, earth going. To, to the, the cross, cross. My mine was like this the from the cross to, to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your and name and then he raised the roof wow <laughs> can't wait for that to go on instagram thank you for yeah, that there was like two people in the front who were like really rocking That's the hand amazing. movements oh, i was like this is amazing so i was walking around like kids alley at that time and every once in a while i would hear like something and i would just stop and be like oh man i'm back in middle school i'm yeah. back in high school too good it's crazy too good yeah that was like an hour long set as well yeah it was like i think 34 minutes something Damn. like that yeah it was fun and yeah. you got to sing with the choir too, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. that was like yeah. a really fun part. What a part. moment so that if was. If you weren't there uh, after our service, yep. we had three different worships, worship sets, I guess you call them. The first one was the Menlo Quintet, who yes. I didn't get a chance to see, unfortunately. They were great. I saw the tail on the other side. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they're just like known, and they're not Menlo Church. They're just like known Yeah, in they're kind of like a group, right? and yeah. I think they, yeah, and they... Cool offered to play and yeah. they were really wow. great and yeah. then our menlo church choir yes. who's yeah. here at the menlo park campus with the mm-hmm. legacy service got yeah. to do a set how was that it was really fun yeah. i you sang with them right yes yeah. got to yeah. jump in we did like the hallelujah chorus we did um just like a ton of classics blessed assurance which was fun uh anton figured out that uh blessed assurance the song is also 150 years old so it oh was really gosh. fun like it's the same Whoa. age as menlo church oh, which is really chills. interesting cool. yeah. yeah so we had me like say a little bit about it be- like before we sang it that it's 150 years old and then also just by happenstance the set that he planned was like in chronological order so okay. we started with like praise the lord to Al- the almighty which is like one of the oldest songs mm. and went through like the hallelujah chorus and all that stuff was it actually wow. happenstance it was he, okay. he noticed like <laughs> after he put all of it in he was like oh this is all in chronological I feel like that order sounds- like something Anton would plan <laughs> I know, intentionally. he's such so a good great. planner. Yeah. Yeah, but we that service is blessed by like just some of the best musicianship I've ever seen in a church in my lifetime of of working for churches. Um and so it was cool. Um just the choir alone, they're so talented compared yeah. to most church choirs that you come across. They just um yeah, they make a huge sound and they know what they're doing mm-hmm. as far as singing and so does Teddy. So it was uh the choir director. Yeah. So it was super cool. People were super engaged for that, especially for like the Hallelujah chorus and like yeah. the songs they knew, Blessed Assurance. Everyone mm-hmm. kind of chimed in in the crowd. So it was fun. Amazing. Was the best moment uh, the best song that you got to sing? was happy birthday to <laughs> Menlo Church. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was a happenstance moment. And me and Mark so were just yeah. there and we were like, we're the cake bears. This is happening now. Yep. <laughs> oh, 
so funny. That was so fun. I wanted Phil to sing the whole thing on mic. I know, and he was like, nope. <laughs> he has a good voice. I he don't does. know why he, he doesn't want to sing it. Oh, yeah. well, that's fun. Well, if anyone wants to sing or yes. play music or sing in the choir, how can they get involved? Yeah, this is our shameless plug. Uh, you can reach out to any of our worship team leaders, or you can just DM us on Instagram or mm -hmm. leave a comment, and Mark will get you to us. <laughs> yep. But my email is ALI, it's very easy to remember, at menlochurch.org. Um, you can send me an email, or you can find our volunteer interest form online. But we do like a simple audition process and kind of show you our yep. the way we do music and how we, as a team, read music and and play music together and kind of see if you can yeah. jive with that. And then we go from there. So it's really fun. We have a lot of great, great, great talented volunteers mm -hmm. on our team. So it's a awesome. it's a good time. And if you like the decor that we've been doing on the holidays oh, the last yeah. couple of years, that's another shout out to Allison yes. for helping plan that's, those. That's mm -hmm. a fun thing. We've got a really, it used to be like me, like, I don't know, <laughs> put a wreath there. Yeah. But we've gotten, we got Allison and Rachel, our new yes. comms director, yes. and Megan, the three of them just like working yeah. together and yes. creating these beautiful displays. It's going right. to be awesome for that's this Christmas. Time. And my guess is we'll probably need some help putting those up as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eventually. So I think Stage most design. campuses yep. on Sunday, November 19th, yeah. will be having a, right. yeah, Menlo I think they're calling it a tremendous, tremendous uh, party or something like that. Decorating party or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you go to menlo.church slash events, that will take you to an event page with all of these different events. Mm. Yes. And you can search your specific campus and see if they have their event up and ready. And you yep. can register for that and help. We just need, I mean, you don't even have to be crafty. Like it's like putting, putting ornaments trees. on trees. Mm -hmm. yep. Um maybe hanging doing some, some garland. hanging garland like you don't have to be super yeah. crafty for Fluffing. that but just Tree they fluffing. put christmas oh, yeah. music on it's yeah. usually really it's real it's more of a yeah. party than anything else yeah setting up christmas is so it is fun. really fun. taking it down is another story but setting up <sighs> yeah. christmas is so much yeah. fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> we yes. love it awesome well allison thanks so much <laughs> yeah, yeah thanks guys right. thanks for being See you here soon. yeah Jubes, perfect. you're on it. You're right on the up. podcast right here ladies and gentlemen jubilee i'm here the one and only who are you I am the <laughs> film and video director here at Menlo Church. Okay. So, so if Jube's voice or his face doesn't look familiar, that's because he's usually the one behind the cameras. Mm -hmm. Yep. I am the one that makes the videos for the weekend. So if you like them, <laughs> I made them. If I didn't, someone, someone made them. Someone else made them. Probably. That's funny. Yeah. And if you're with us in the service, uh, you saw this amazing video of basically 150 years of history packed into two minutes. Minute and a half? I think it was like a minute, almost two minutes, I oh think, yeah. God. What was that process like? Man, it was crazy. So we got a bunch of content, so a bunch of 35 millimeter photos. Where did we get this content? Do yeah. you even know? Um, I know there are some that we got from the vault. Yeah, there's a vault on campus. We have a vault? Somewhere. Yeah, we have yeah. a vault. Don't so. tell anybody else. Do you else? need a key oh, and a shoot. little gremlin Maybe to let you in like in Harry <laughs> Potter? <laughs> I key, think you just please. use their finger, yeah. the gremlin. I wonder if it's like gremlin. another removal requirement here, but that's just my guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so we just got a bunch of content and I think some elders that had had content give, yeah. gave us some as well. But, um, yeah, so we had a bunch of 35 millimeter scans, eight millimeter and six millimeter videos. And for people who don't know, like they're my age, that's what they used to film <laughs> on. So, <laughs> nice. um, old things, uh, very old, old things. things. Yeah. What was the oldest piece of content? I think it dated back to right when they were making the brown groundbreaking for 950. I'm gonna Google that because I want to remember what year that is. Yeah, because when that, you were when during that video, someone was like, "Is that from 1870 whatever?" And was, I was like, "It was not." No, I, I think, think so, that right? no, it's not. It's from when we because they originally met somewhere down the street. Yeah, it was and now right. Yeah, 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 it was. Yeah. I think one of the I think the elder's name is Bill. He told me the church used to be where Ace Hardware is mm -hmm. now. Oh yes, mm -hmm. it's like right where the Starbucks and Ace Hardware is in, in Menlo Park. So wild. So you had to look through hours of content, probably. To, yeah, to it choose? was a good amount of yeah. it was a good amount of footage and photos, yeah. but it was a good time. I think it was just cool to see, like as I was going through it and just kind of creating the video to see the actual history of the church. Right. Like hearing 150 years doesn't feel that long until you actually look at how much has passed. Like seeing time pass through photos and videos really puts your mind in perspective how long this church has been up and running yeah so that was really cool to see oh man 1950 yeah that was okay. I was like okay built this building okay wow that's even though like 1950 sounds like a long time ago it still like goes back so much further than in the history of that. the united states it is not that long <laughs> yeah. or it was yeah whatever wild <laughs> um 
where so this content came from all over the place? Yeah, and pretty much, yeah. Were we how did we get it from an eight millimeter to be able to put on a computer? Uh so I was I shoot a lot of film, so I was like, we're gonna have to send this off. Like this is so much stuff. Okay. But luckily, shout out Mike's camera in Menlo Park. If you guys have hey. anything on Santa Cruz to Avenue. develop Santa Cruz Avenue, go down. Okay. Um we actually brought me and Jess actually brought all the stuff there. And we're like, hey, we need to develop this. Do you guys develop? I knew they could develop um, this, like photo scans, but I right. didn't know if they could do the video. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, we can do everything. I was oh. like, oh, this is great. There so, was like three different size reels of like different You're making film circle things. gestures with your hands for yeah. those that are listening. <laughs> well, I think like yes. small, <laughs> small donut tire, yes, no like audio. donut size. Like, yeah. okay. It was so many. Yeah. Okay. There was like a one that was like almost, well, not a bicycle tire, but it was pretty big. It was pretty that big. big yeah, one, yeah. yeah. It, it was like as big as a steering wheel. Whoa. There you go. Yeah. What were on all of these? Uh, so, I mean, just video, like, of, I think most of it was the groundbreaking of okay. the 950 building, as well as just, like, the first service, yeah. and, um, I think, no, that's about it, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. And then there were just a ton of pictures, there was, like, some church directory photos. Yeah. There were photos of the building from, yeah. I mean, I don't even know if we knew when the years were, um, there are vid pictures of like what the sanctuary looks like now, uh, with all the pews, mm -hmm. the stained glass from yeah. you know I'm, that must have gone in the fifties when it was built. Yeah, yeah I, I guess. I, what was crazy to see as well is like the actual stained glass that's behind the building now, or like behind the stage in Menlo Park. Yeah, was not there when the church was built. Oh, okay. Like when that building. So they built that after the fact. Like I can't remember what year, Gosh. but like there was footage in a photo of like them putting that stained glass wow. in <clears throat> excuse me whoa so i would be i don't i like can't even picture what it, the room would look like without that stained there glass. was it's a so i forget what stained glass thing was there it was like at the very top but yeah. now it's oh, in one okay. of the side windows okay oh that's cool yeah so a little piece of history still there also along Fun. with one of the original pews right yes along with one of the pews as well we had if you have been to the campus or been to Menlo, the Menlo Park campus, there is a pew in the back donated by the Stanfords. Mm -hmm. I think they donated it in 1950 as well. Mm -hmm. There's a date on it. But I actually, we actually had like a couple of photos of the old pews that were in the church. And it was cool to see that because I think Bill, one of the elders, was letting us know like he thinks that that was during the time World War II happened or around that around that time it okay. was like a the yeah. church was being um like a boarding or like a safe haven or something like Whoa. that mm. but it was cool okay. to see because it's like oh wow look how old this pew is and we have one in the back of the church that's yeah. insane so how crazy was there and apologize zing because i was hosting during this so like my mind was in so <clears throat> many different places in the video was there a picture of the like original people that like launched the church no i okay. yeah i don't think we had any like i don't think we had any content prior to the groundbreaking of 950 got it got it got it um okay we just yeah i just had a week of wikipedia like who founded the church <laughs> like other than that but yeah so we do uh, that's where i found the date 1950 was yeah. our wikipedia yeah. Awesome. So that was all your pre-work. Yes. That day was all of the pre-work. Yeah. What were you doing at Menlo So I was helping Harold out, who is our broadcast video director yep. here, um, with setting up cameras for the live stream, and also helping Mark out with the lobby space as well. Yeah. Yes. And then when I wasn't doing that, I was just all around shooting B-roll, trying to yep. capture the moment of Menlo yep. 150. And yeah, but it was such a fun time. Like if you were there, you probably experienced like the energy and just how how all four campuses came together and was yeah. just so excited there yeah. was there's just a feeling of excitement and Definitely. just happiness just being able to all of us come together yeah. yeah i know i kept like waiting for something to go wrong especially in the service yeah like we set all right. of the tech and everything up right. so it was like and not that our team isn't incredible but it was like you just never know and yep. everything like went off easily and like you said i think the energy not only in that room but just in the like quad area i didn't feel like anybody was like mad or frustrated or you know annoyed yeah. or anything everyone yeah. just seemed to have really good energy and just to to give some context around that and some more space to that 
we had to bring in pretty much everything for mm -hmm. broadcasting, mm -hmm. for music, for lights, for screens. Yeah. Like imagine an empty gym and then imagine what we did. Yeah. And like, so like for those that volunteered with us that helped out, for those that are on staff that ran that, Ben and Harold, like, yeah. oh my gosh, they yeah. did so Incredible. much. Yeah. Uh, and it was really funny. We asked Harold if he wanted to be on the podcast today, and he immediately started sweating. It was like, no. <laughs> He's like, my he didn't say out. no. He just started sweating, and then Mark was like, you don't have to say yes. Yeah. He's like, okay, no. Okay, <laughs> Quote his words. He said, simple. my actual heart rate just went up yes. and asked me that. I was like, oh, okay. That's okay. the funny thing I was yeah. saying. Like, people who are usually behind the camera hate right. being in front of yeah. it. Like, even yeah. Jubilee was like, okay. Yeah. I, don't know I mean, I was kind of stoked. I mean, I'm yeah. a seven, but I – takes me a while to warm up. It's yeah. weird. I don't yeah. know. But I'm like, okay, it's fine. I think I like this setup because you can completely ignore those cameras. And yeah. you can even pretend that they're not on. It's yeah. like you're just talking to just friends. I will say I have a subconscious thing, like knowing the camera's there. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. do I look at it? I, even though like I know it's a conversation, but I know people are watching and they're part of the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, like side eyeing it. Like, do you see me looking at you or not? Well, you can do a documentary style and just like turn to the camera. At one oh, like, point a... and be like, so then I told Mark and Jess. <laughs> Good old office. Like, yeah. yeah. Make but, the gym face. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jeeps, thank you. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you guys. Um, yeah. And if you want to get involved with any video stuff, Jubilee's the guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, please. So. I would love to have volunteers. Um, we have, I have about four right now, but mm -hmm. I always want to make that team bigger and just make the video team more fun. Yeah. Including so. like high school students who yeah, are yeah. interested in doing of that course. as a career. Yeah, yeah. So. If you guys are students like wanting to get into film or video, please reach yep. out to me. Have your parents reach out to me or, um, yeah. Or if you guys want to email me, go ahead. Yep. Jubilee is a great teacher. He teaches me stuff on Purpose Center all the time. And something that would have taken me 10 hours to do, he can do it yeah. just like that. And so um, it's not just for people that are holding cameras, too. Mm -hmm. It's for editing and for sound design and yeah. a lot of different things. So Yeah, there's a big scope of film and video and mm -hmm. whatever you are interested in, whether that's video, filming, editing, color grading, or anything like that. Acting. Like acting, yeah. Oh, if yeah. you want to be like a staple or Menlo church actor for us, that would be great. Yes. But. Awesome. Uh, Jubes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hi. 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 <laughs> Look at this beautiful lady. Who are you? What do you We're do here? here. Um, hi, my name is Missy, and I am the director of curriculum and environments. environments. <laughs> For who? For the kiddos. The kids. Toddlers, babies, preschoolers, yep. elementary age, middle school, and high schoolers. Holy smokes. All of the children. children. I love the babies. <laughs> no, seriously. And we had this thing at Menlo 150 called Kids Alley. We did. Wait, before we get into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Back those longtime listeners. Oh, yeah. Who is this? That's my... Well, I am Missy's husband. There you go. <laughs> this is Missy, the Missy we always talk about. I'm the is. Missus. She's yes. the oh Missus my gosh. Missy. And Missy's she has welcome. been on staff for all of... One month. One month. <laughs> oh, I think today's my anniversary. <gasps> Congrats. Yay, we got you a cake. I really deserve oh, a one. cupcake. <laughs> you do. <laughs> really like, deserve one. one month really brings... I think we all deserve our own cake yeah. after Menla 152. Ooh, too. Yeah. Individual cakes for everyone yes. for the 150. I love that idea. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> what was Kids Alley? Kids Alley was basically a carnival. Yeah. And there was so much happening. And <laughs> <laughs> but it was all on this like literal alley way. And so it was just this beautiful walk of inflatable jump houses and obstacle courses and friendship bracelets and you know, stickers and tattoos and face painting. And my favorite part was that it was definitely for the kids, but there were a lot of non-kids that were participating. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Saw a lot of face paint on some wrinkly faces. <laughs> it was beautiful. What a joy. What a Incredible. treasure. Including mine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Including mine. <That's> so <laughs> oh, yeah. It was such a good time. Before Kids Alley, though, was also the kids' little child. What is we it called? Child, child care. care for some people. Yeah. 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 Which was so fun. Yeah. And I didn't know what to expect when we went in. It was just like we we're bringing all this stuff and we were going to just have fun with the kiddos, yeah. which is exactly what happened. I planted yep. myself in the coloring station and there was this really cute little boy um, that came up and one of his friends came running and he was like, miles, miles, miles. And so then they colored together and we printed out these like birthday, happy birthday cakes for them to color. Oh, cute. And so the friend was like, Miles, is it your birthday? <laughs> and Miles is like, no, it's the church's duh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, yeah, duh, dude. Like, Pitt's a <laughs> Come on, where so have you cute. been? They must have been like four years old. It was oh, so yeah. sweet. It was super cute. And then we danced and we sang. Yeah. It was really sweaty. <laughs> so it always is with the kiddos. How many kids kiddos. were there? We expected 105. Okay. And I think we ended up with some last minute signups sure. and our final tally was probably around 80 something yeah. in that Ooh. little dance studio. Yeah. Oh, um, fun. But they're like babies to, yeah. you know, five years old. Yeah. And it was really yeah. sweet. It was so cute. We had a lot of kids that were joining us on the live stream because oh. we had a little wheel oh. spin. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. People, anytime you have candy and something that clicks, it just attracts people like moths to a <laughs> flame. <that> click. Children. <laughs> so that and Jess it's and like Missy. as soon as people spun it, you heard the <laughs> click, <laughs> click <laughs> just like all of them just looked yeah. over. Um, but oh. it was really fun. And the, we probably had probably 50 or so kids that oh, really? were there. So I would just imagine all of the mm-hmm. other kids elsewhere, too. Wait, did any of the kids uh, spin the question? Uh, yes. Oh. And Rochelle Summers. <gasps> oh, I heard her ask the one the about like Ninjago or something. She would just pick out yeah. something about their shirt or oh something and be like, Who, who's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> who's your favorite superhero? And one, says, one guy said, purple. She's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was really funny. You win a candy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so Did you good. have a favorite moment or another fun story from the day? Oh my gosh. I love whenever there's like just like intergenerational play. Yeah. And so it was really fun for me at Kids Alley to see, you know, some not just parents, but like even the high schoolers engage with some of the younger students right. or um, helping them create a bracelet with these like really tiny beads. I don't know if you oh saw gosh, them. They were just like the smallest little disc beats oh, no. and I was yeah. like, what, what, what child would be able to do this but helping each other and just getting along yeah. and just really just laughing and engaging in play I think is so so beautiful and as yeah. I was walking around it seemed like some of the things were also like service projects oh too? yeah is that right we made these really cool kits and it was I loved how they organize everything because okay. um, you start off with making these cards and they're stickers and markers and just like this wonderful art project for everyone to you know choose a bible verse or an encouraging word uh, mm-hmm. for the people that will be receiving these kits and then you can go by yourself or in a group uh, down this kind of like not a conveyor belt but something similar like where an alley each, <laughs> full of kids a different alley, <laughs> <Kids> alley. <laughs> um, where each station has you know the item and how many you need in each kit so like for example shampoo or soap or toothbrushes like yeah. you get one or two of each and you go down the aisle and then you pass it to another volunteer who like sucks out all the air and then like <laughs> seals it and then mm. passes it to another volunteer who packs it in one of these beautiful like strategic bags and then another volunteer like takes them to the car so it's just like that you know lots of hands making light yeah. work yeah. like just really coming and alive they were hygiene you. kits for houseless people right yes yeah that is exactly what they were <laughs> <laughs> one of my old uh they're my old life group that yeah. um we used to be the sixth grade girls now seventh grade girls from san mateo they were trying to time themselves to see how fast yes. they could do it nice. and so they were in like groups of four and like screaming <laughs> at each other like no two toothbrushes is like no they have to be yellow oh like gosh. it was really sweet and gamified it it was so fun that's and, great yeah it's awesome. all good. whatever works yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever makes it fun. Um, if anyone listening has a heart for kids and wants to get involved and serve, yes. how can they do that? Um, come volunteer with our okay. Sunday programs. I mm-hmm. am always blessed by any time I'm in front of the kids because they just have the freedom and the joy of, you know, a child. Yeah. And so it is definitely, even if you don't feel like confident with kids or whatever else, like just being present and helping out in connections or uh, maybe even teaching, if you would like to be on the stage, sure. whatever it might be, uh, that's a great way to get involved. And we also have on Wednesday mornings, if you're more behind the scenes kind of friend, but you love to help create um, curriculum, we have a volunteer group that meets on Wednesday mornings that sets everything up and you can contact me about that. Awesome. Nice. Oh, cool. Yes. Thanks so much for being on. Oh, yeah. it was an honor. <laughs> okay. Let me do that again. <laughs> it was an honor. Okay, that was better. Was that better? Yeah, that was great. Hi, friends. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Can you introduce yourselves and tell us what you do here at Menlo? Oh, I'm Elaine Kellis. I'm the accounting supervisor. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you? and my name is Loren, and I work amongst the executive staff here. Wow. Loren is in charge of Phil. <laughs> yeah, Loren is secretly <laughs> Phil's boss. Don't like she laughs. She no, she is not fighting it either though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing humility. Oh. 
Well, I'm not. No, no. <laughs> one of my favorite parts of the day was having all of our staff members together at one place because sometimes I get to see people on the weekends. Yeah. But mm-hmm. for all of us to be together in one event, that was definitely one of my highlights. Yeah. And just so sweet, like seeing everyone walking around and seeing all the familiar faces. And so... I'd love for you both to share a highlight if you have one. Loren, do you have a highlight from the day? Yeah, so Elaine, I kind (laughs) of dragged her in here for this podcast, but it's perfect because my highlights surround her and her family and her kids. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Okay. So (laughs) now the kids had a great time with her, especially. Yes. How old are your kids? Oh, oh, my age, 17. <laughs> 17. You're 20 and 30. <laughs> We're the same age, so we get along so well. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Same school, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> same classes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so it's always fun working with them. And so they were scheduled her two kids mm-hmm. her daughter zoe and, and son aiden, aiden. Okay. they were scheduled to help out with the face painting right oh, so okay. sweet and yeah. kids alley uh-huh. and the thing is uh-huh. they don't know how to draw they don't know how to draw <laughs> <laughs> so people have asked perfect. me to sign up for face painting before perfect. and i'm like no you don't want that <laughs> i don't even know if i would do a star or a heart well right. enough i will give you a freckle so oh. because <laughs> God has touched me and he really works well in me, mm-hmm. when I found out they could not draw, I yeah. said, really? <laughs> I will be back as many times as I can <laughs> to request for them to draw for me the hardest things oh, that yes. were on the... Oh, and I made so good funny. on my promise, didn't I? I yeah. made good on my promise. <laughs> Oh. What was the hardest thing you made them draw? <laughs> so first was Aiden, and I actually have a picture. I don't know. Will you guys be able to show? I'll be able to show this. Oh, yeah, yay. he sent it to me. So, so we'll put it up on the screen so for those that are watching Aiden, along. Okay, drew for me a unicorn. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Wait, how old is he really? really? He's that looks like 16. a unicorn. Okay. Really? I thought it was a dog. He <laughs> thought it like a dog. Come on, mom. I will say I have no artistic <laughs> abilities like that, so I Young think it looks hair. great. That's so and funny. This was the second draft. Oh, he was oh so proud. But... I mean, compared to the like uh, template that he's supposed to copy. <laughs> okay. But it looks yeah. like a unicorn, and that's yeah. all. That Does it though? So... And he was no. really nervous doing it. He was oh. so serious. Oh my god. That's okay, so funny. Okay, and then Zoe. And she was laughing all the time. Oh my oh, god. So... I yeah. had the best time. Oh yeah. Oh, and then I asked Zoe for a bl- for balloons, which look like lollipops to me. <laughs> look like lollipops. A yeah. balloon yeah. for the the stream. <laughs> it's like, it's a like thick color stream. Yeah, that, that one's on. that one's a little bit harder to make <laughs> out. Oh, what it what it was, but it's more it's like they're bad. on six inch ribbons. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, but why does this look like a bruise? <laughs> Like the, the balloons, uh, the color she chose yeah, with my yeah, skin, yeah, 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 yeah. it just did. I just love your loving, it. nurturing heart for you, yeah. the yeah. youth. Oh. Yes, I had to do it. <laughs> you did. I had. I was called for, yeah. for, for yes. that moment. For such a time as this. Yes. Exactly. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. hallelujah. Well, thank you both for coming on. You're yeah. It was so welcome. fun hearing all these stories. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> well, yeah. hey, friends. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Why don't you introduce yourselves as the... Uh, you might recognize, well, you will recognize both voices yes. uh-huh. and faces yes. if you're watching. One is a substitute teacher and one's a new substitute teacher. Is that right? I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I okay. used to roll in here with the moniker as the substitute teachers with another staff member who shall not be named. <laughs> and now I have replaced him with my new substitute teacher pal, yes. Josh Jewel Horton. Yes. yes. What's your name? Oh, right. Yeah. My name is Keith Riley. I work at the Menlo <laughs> Park campus yeah. as the director of adult discipleship. Oh. Mm. And what do you do? What do you I do? am the director of students at the Menlo Park campus. <laughs> Not just one. <laughs> the stu- Multiple. Students. Multiple students. Both Multiple of them. Students. I direct <laughs> them. <laughs> I just tell them where to go. That's so yeah. perfect. Yeah. That's yeah. what we do. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're, we are chatting about Menlo 150. And I'm not exactly sure what you guys were both doing on the day. <laughs> well, uh, does anybody well, know? That's the way we like it, actually. <laughs> I get into details. <laughs> but I assume super official things. Very official. I saw you super busy, running yeah. around, yeah, 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 just yeah. looking mm-hmm. so official. Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. We yeah. actually left at the same time as Phil. So if anybody yeah. asked. Just so oh. everybody, we, we were there, there. until yeah. Phil left. That's right. <laughs> what did we did in between. Early? I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I taste it. 
taste tested many things the donuts the bagels yeah, that's just really like quality control though. coffee oh, yeah. when we got there i saw someone mm-hmm. walking around with mini bagels that was yeah. a thing yeah there was oh, a thing they like appeared back in like kids alley about mid-morning i was like how delightful you know i just thought we were gonna have donuts and then i had bagels i think they just took the leftover cupcakes and popped them back in the <laughs> oven like the mini cupcakes <laughs> okay. that was just that I'll was probably my like favorite memory of the day was i got put on cupcake duty yeah, and so i was man. like part oh, of yeah. like the cupcake yeah. assembly line that was yeah. like taking them all out putting them on trays if you had to estimate how many cupcakes oh, you, i, I could tell you we brought out three to four million thousand cupcakes oh, two thousand cupcakes. cupcakes and i cupcakes. i pulled them out on like this rolling cart and i've never felt like more loved than when i was pulling out these cupcakes and there was just a trail of people following after me <laughs> right yeah. i know it's purely about the cupcakes but okay. in that moment it was like wow this guy is bringing me cupcakes and he is my favorite staff member <laughs> just for a few moments it's nice to cupcake. have something that people want it really yes. is it really yeah. is yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. and were you also on cupcake giving duty? out cupcakes yes post service i i had a tray of mini cupcakes oh. that i was taking around to people and it was a little bit of the same thing where yeah. i was like oh my uh-huh. gosh people want to interact with me yeah. Yeah. even more than usual it was yeah. it was joy. pretty sweet the joy in their faces now you know you it just need really to carry good. around a yeah. tray of cupcakes people i think i'm gonna do it 24 7 yeah yeah <laughs> now <laughs> surprise he pulls out cupcakes it now. feels like the whole day was a blur but i was in uh the history portion in the gym mm-hmm. and i mm-hmm. saw people with cupcake trays walking around so <laughs> now you know now, you know now where i they know came that from. you guys yeah. actually were did this and weren't just to have an alibi for <laughs> no no we were definitely it was hard a real work job all day. it was a real role <laughs> okay. it, yeah it was great because the volunteer teams that put everything together right. did so much yeah. and it felt like on the staff end, I know it was like a busy full day, but it, a lot of it felt effortless as staff yeah. coming yeah. in because of how many people so were pitching amazing. in, doing stuff all day, and planned things that I never would have thought of. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it it made it a pretty relaxed morning for me because it was just like, wow, like all these people have figured all this stuff out, and I can just mm-hmm. jump in where needed. And, yeah. and do I think a lot done. of staff were like, what am I supposed to be doing? Like, all <laughs> like I, you're not supposed to be doing anything. Like, yeah, enjoy totally it. They're enjoy, like, enjoy the I day. think it was another th- a three. You're a three, right? I think Any, it, that's an Enneagram. Enneagram, reference. yeah. She was like, but I need to be doing something. And I was like, no, I think you're allowed. Yeah. You, they don't want you doing anything right now on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, no, I mean, I think a lot of times at events like this, it can feel like staff people have too much to do. And they're like, how yeah. do I choose the thing? And uh-huh. yeah, it was mm-hmm. a lot of that. Like, well, I guess I'll walk around. Yeah. This is so cool. I guess I get to yeah, talk to people. Yeah, it was really people? sweet. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things was seeing everyone from all of our campuses together. Like, mm-hmm. that was just weird to, um, and it might be just unique to I mean, you two are both out of campus all the time, the same Mm -hmm. campus. We kind of get to float around Mm -hmm. as central people. And so to put different faces together at different campuses. um, But you have done like the retreat for MSM was recently. And so I'm uh, imagining you saw a lot of friendly faces of Mm -hmm. different students. What was that like? Yeah, it was actually one of the sweetest parts of the day for me. Um, There was a group of students who went last summer to Alaska together. And we had some like for fun for a mission trip okay. that we did. <laughs> Thanks, that's great. They went fishing because um, I need to. Schoolers. You need to introduce <laughs> me. Oh my gosh, calm down. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, group of high back, schoolers, um, and it was so cool. I like witnessed a little mini reunion of them, oh, um, like so some fun. who had come back from college, um, and they even let me be in a selfie that they took <gasps> together, which felt oh, like a big honor. That's a big honor to me. Yeah. And then uh, later on, I didn't get to see the service because I was helping with the childcare. Yeah. Um, so I watched back on the service, and there's a spot where it, they kind of pan across the audience okay. and they're like all sitting together Aww. in the in no the stands way. um which was just it was so cool really yeah. rich to see that and those relationships that just last that's amazing. awesome yeah wow well thank you both any other stories to share <laughs> keith and i both moved things we walked we were there mm-hmm. and it was great <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's a great summary. I don't think I can say it better than that. Did you, was your daughter there? I saw her. Oh yeah. My daughter was there. Did she have a good time? Uh, she had a great time. You know, it's uh, it's part of the trick of uh, my wife is also on staff, so mm-hmm. you know where where's our daughter going to be? And luckily, uh, she's really good friends with uh, Soraya Summers, who's oh, she's uh, the, the best. Matt Summers campus pastor in Mountain View, and so they just hung out all morning. They were they were the ones really snagging bagels and all the other stuff mm-hmm. and having fun, and and <laughs> I had a great time. Good. So yeah, it was great. Great. 
Yeah. Well, thank you both for coming on. Pleasure. Absolutely no problem. Cool. Substitute teachers right again. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're supposed to give me my handshake. Oh, we're working on it. We're working on it. I was like, was that supposed to be a high five, a handshake? Oh